in with you this way. Here we go. Hey, everybody, are you ready? <laughs> then snap those fingers and tap those toes and sing along with me. All right, here we go. She has straight hair. He has curly hair. How perfectly remarkably strange. Straight hair, curly hair, different, mm, but the same. Now, isn't it beautiful, simply unusual, being with you this way? Say, what a big nose. Hey, what a little nose. How perfectly, remarkably strange. Uh huh. Big nose, little nose, straight hair, curly hair, different, mm, but the same. Now, isn't it satisfying, simply electrifying, being with you this way? Now, his eyes are brown. And her eyes are blue. How perfectly, remarkably strange. Brown eyes, blue eyes, big nose, little nose, straight hair, curly hair, different, but the same. Wow, those are thick arms. Hey, those are thin arms. How perfectly, remarkably strange. Brown eyes, blue eyes, big nose, little nose, straight hair, curly hair, different, mm, but the same. Now, isn't it fabulous, simply enrapturous, being with you this way? Now, isn't it terrific, simply exquisite, being with you this way? Hey everybody, are you ready? Uh -huh. Then snap those fingers and tap those toes and sing along with me. All right, here we go. She has a short nose, he has a long nose. How perfectly, remarkably strange. Furry skin, yep. shiny skin, different, different mm, but the same. can watch for more about the letter Y. Yes. You. Why? Y. Why? Y. Yam. Yak. Yarn. It's game time and welcome. 
Welcome to the Blending Bowl. I'm Terry Bradshaw, and I'll be doing the play-by-play -play today for this incredible showdown. In red, we have Team... And in white, we have Team... On. And there's the kickoff! Well, that's about it, folks. And until next time for the Blending Bowl, I'm Terry Bradshaw. Hey, thanks for watching. Flying off the shelf once again, it's the continuing daring and dangling adventures of Cliffhanger! Today's adventure, number 2712, Cliffhanger and the Yodeling Yellow Yak. Excuse me! Excuse me! We find Cliffhanger where we left him last. Hanging from a cliff. Can't hold on much longer. Suddenly, far below him, Cliff overhears two scientists yakking. I yearn to find a yodeling yellow yak. Me too. Quickly, Cliff reaches into his backpack and yanks out his trusty survival manual. Using his expert decoding skills, Cliff begins to read. If you hear two scientists yakking about a yodeling yellow yak, put on a yellow yak costume and start yodeling. Why didn't I think of that? Yes. Yodeling. Yikes, that's a yodeling yak. Yes, let's yank him off the cliff and bring him home with us. Are Cliff's years of hanging from a cliff about to come to an end? No, we must leave this magnificent creature here, where Mother Nature meant for him to be. You're right, of course. The yak stays here. I'm not really a yak. And that's why he's called Cliffhanger. Can't hold on much longer. Come on. Don't be shy, Y. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. L. L. Yeah. L. Yell. Yeah. <laughs> Yell. Yeah. And now it's time for... Gawain's word. Gawain's word. <laughs> Excellent. Gawain here today at Blend Mart, where two brave knights in armor with shopping carts will charge together at high speed, make a word, and go shopping. Competing today, we have Sir Yo. Yo. <laughs> and on your right, Sir Yo's. Yo's. <laughs> Blend on, shopping dudes. Yo. Yo's. Yo. Yo's. Yo. Yo's. Yo. Yo's. Yo. Yo's. Yo-yos! Excellent! That's Gawain's word for today. And this is Gawain saying, yo, I'll see y'all next time on... Gawain's word! Gawain's word! Look! Hopping out of the bushes. Is it a bug? Is it a squirrel? No! It's Opposite Bunny! Here he comes, the opposite bunny. Mmm, yummy. The yak is something yucky, and now he's eating something yummy. How does that bunny do it? Mmm, who was that cute bunny? That was the opposite bunny. Here are some words that begin with the letter Y. Yeah. Yum. Yarn. Yo-yo. Yardstick. 
Yacht. Yellow. Why? Yeah. Yellow by Barbara Juster Esbenson. Yellow sun and yellow sky. A dandelion's yellow eye. Yellow pollen dusts the breeze. And yellow lights the summer trees. A yellow buzzing prints the air. In dappled yellow dreams the pear. And from the finch's yellow throat, one golden flowing yellow note. It's short story time with Artie Smarty Pants. Thank you. Today, I'm going to read you a story about a cat, meow, and some yarn. And the book is called Tabby Cat Scarf by Phyllis Root, illustrated by Katherine McEwen. <laughs> Mommy knits a scarf. Tabby Cat finds the yarn. Tabby Cat grabs the yarn. Tabby Cat pulls the yarn. Tabby Cat throws the yarn. Tabby Cat loops the yarn. Tabby Cat rolls in the yarn. Now Tabby Cat has a scarf. The end. Yeah! Ooh, ah, oh, I love that yarn. Ooh, ah. And now I'll say goodbye. Ooh, ah, oh, this yarn, look at this, everywhere. <laughs> Why? Y you. Hey, nice hat. Great shirt, huh? And oh, oh, wiggly ears. <laughs> yeah, I gotta say, I really, really like being with you this way. You know what I mean? <laughs> I think I do. <laughs> To be a bunny. Hop, hop, hop. How to be a person. Watch this. How to be. How to be. <laughs> How to be by Lisa Brown. How to be a bear. Catch fish with your hands. Hibernate. Monkey. Swing from a tree. Eat with your toes. Huh? Mm, yummy. <laughs> Copy someone. Stop copying me. Stop copying me. Be curious. What's curious, Lionel? Well, it's when you want to know things. Oh, why do people want to know things? So they can learn. Well, why do people want to learn? So they can be... Leona, could we just get back to the story, please? Sure, Lionel. I was just being curious. <laughs> How to be... a turtle. Bask in the sun. <sighs> Bask in the sun. Okay, who ordered the fruit drinks? Me. Hide. <laughs> Move very slowly. Come on, Slowpoke. Be patient. <sighs> How 
to be a snake. Shed your skin. Slither. Dance in a basket. Thank you. Be charming. Leona, have I ever told you what a great sister you are? Oh, my, no thanks. That means so much to... Wait a second. You're being charming, aren't you? Charming like a snake. <laughs> How to be a spider. Creep along walls. Wait for a meal to come to you. Okay, come on, let me down now. It's my turn. Come on. Build a web. Be creative. <gasps> Amazing. Boy, it really makes you think. <laughs> Inspirational. <laughs> How to be a dog. Fetch. Beg for food. Be friendly. How to be a person. How to be a person? Be brave. Curious, patient, charming, creative, and friendly. Be yourself. <laughs> oh, you guys startled me! I didn't know you were back there! <laughs> oh, did you like that story, sweetie? You guys like that book? That was a good story, right? Coming up next, lots of ways to describe animals and people. Hey, I'm hanging here anyway. I might as well watch. And so should you. Information hen. Oh, finally. <laughs> Welcome. What thing will we learn about today? Turn, 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 turn. Stop! Ah, all about being patient. Oh, that's a good thing. <laughs> being patient means waiting calmly for something you want, like, say, uh, your lunch. And you're really, really, really hungry. But it's not lunchtime yet. So, no use getting upset. You take a deep breath. You say to yourself, be patient. And then you play a little game with your fingers to keep your mind off of being hungry. <gasps> and before you know it, it's lunchtime! Oh, 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 birdseed au jus, my favorite. Oh, that's all for. All about everything, one thing at a time. Hi there, I'm Synonym Sam. Girl genius. <laughs> I'm getting to that, Rufus. Welcome to my bedroom. Uh, I mean, my lab. My dog, Rufus, will assist me in my demonstration. Now, with my super synonym machine, I will be able to demonstrate the meaning of words. Ready, Rufus? <laughs> Scared. <laughs> Terrified. <laughs> Petrified. <laughs> Today's demonstration was a complete success. I'd like to thank my assistant, Rufus. Take a bow, Rufus. Rufus? Whoops. Better turn this off. <laughs> Oh, 
Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, presenting the incredible daring Trampolini Brothers performing the brave human cannonball hoopla. Ready, Artero! Arturo is brave! Ready, Lorenzo! Lorenzo is braver! Ready, Felix! Felix is the bravest! Brave! Braver! Bravest! Folks, let's hear it for the terrific Trampolini Brothers! <laughs> Get rattled. Cool can mean you're really neat. Cool can mean you're not too friendly. Cool can mean there's not much heat. Yeah, cool is such a useful word. It truly hits the spot. It's so cool how many meanings cool has got. If you don't show it, then you're mad. You're so good, they call you bad. You're cool. You're cool. So cool. So cool. And if you never seem to sweat, or you don't smile at folks you've met, you're cool. You're cool. You're cool. Awesome. Or serene. Yeah, there are just so many different things that cool can mean. And now it's time for us to go. We're really glad we helped you know about cool. Yeah, cool. Yeah, cool. So many meanings of cool. So cool. So cool. So many meanings of cool. You're cool. Look, hopping out of the bushes. Is it a bug? Is it a squirrel? No, it's Opposite Bunny. <laughs> Loud! Here he comes, the Opposite Bunny. <laughs> quiet. The duck was loud, now he's quiet. How does that bunny do it? <laughs> Who was that cute bunny? That was the opposite bunny. Back again, it's the Word Doctor with Dr. Ruth Wordheimer. Hello. Here's Dr. Ruth. <laughs> Hello, I'm Dr. Ruth Wordheimer with another word that's tired of being what it is and wants to change. So tell us. What's your story? Oh, I'm sad. Sad! Oh, can you help me, Dr. Ruth? Of course I can. But first, you must let go of that part of you that makes your ad sad. The letter S. That's right. Let it go. Now I feel such a sense of loss. I oh. feel sorry for you. But now we will replace that sad S with a G and an L. And now you are... Glad! I'm glad! Oh, thank you, Dr. Ruth. Thank you. You are welcome. Who? I am good. Some different words for good are thus. My favorite one is fabulous and marvelous and splendid. And the list is far from ended. Fantastic, terrific, so swell and so specific. Which brings us back to fabulous, my favorite word for good. Which brings him back to fabulous, his favorite word for good. Hey, Norm, want to play How to Be? Sure. Great. Let's play How to Be in the Jungle. Kay. You'll be a monkey. <laughs> I am a monkey. <laughs> no, 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 no. 
A monkey sounds like this. <laughs> hey, hey, come on back. Come on. <laughs> Yo, check it out. We're going surfing without a board, dudes. <laughs> okay, because we're surfing between the lion's website. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Go to pbskids.org. Wow. Being With You This Way is based on the book by W. Nicola Lisa. It's with you.